good day, everyone. Owan Sakaki is here today. I'm so excited. He is a advanced version, means it's a brand new character, not extending of his talent tree. From this point, we can expect the required resources of building him will not be cost friendly. First, take a look of his attributes. I put the normal Akagi stats side by side. After comparing, there got not much changes. He can only run faster a bit by 5 attributes and better dribble. I have tried to play him for few matches. Yes, the improvement of speed meant a lot to him, so it's a good improvement. This is his affinity, not easy to achieve either. Most of it including advanced or awakened version characters, which make him so great should be his talents. This video will be a bit different. In order to have better understanding, I will start to explain his ulti first. He is another character that relies on his ulti, another new ulti mechanism. His ulti is passive talent, which means cannot be used in total of 5 levels. When reaching different level, different skills will be activated, mean the more he performs, the better he can be. First level is free of charge. If we need to be good, this ulti branch must be upgraded, mean top priority. King Kong's landing and fixed box out are for the level 1. King Kong's landing can push away rivals while landing. The green color big nodes are representing the next level. Each level achieved, stats and skills will be activated. For level 2 ulti, any blocks for dunks and layout will put scorer on floor and increase 0.5 rebounding range. That is insane! Mean energy gathering speed is crucial to him, so we need to aware of which skills we can use for each level. These two blocking skills just like June's blocking talent, we can directly get back the possession without chasing the 4 ball, so we have to upgrade both. Even the small nodes are pretty useful. Increase gathering speed, increase effective area of monster blocks, we can't let go any one of it. Awaken level 3, Backbone. It increases 5% accuracy for his layup, pro shot and dunk, and extend the effective time for his bump away effect. Next new skill is close range turnaround spin. The movement is so smooth and quick. Another threat, just not in front of Maki. One ulti branch already that big. And it's the core branch. Awaken level 4, team. If Akaki pass to his teammate inside the painted zone, teammate who receiving the ball will increase his shot accuracy. Close, mid and 3 point. Next is King Kong screen. Only this level not really interesting. It's useful, but comparing to another level, it will not be the spotlight. However, the last one is the most insane one. Awaken level 5, Conquer. First, we have new speeding up skill. Second, increase 30% of the effects ulti related stats and related mechanism. For example, increase 5% accuracy with this talent will be increased to 6.5%. And the last not even unbelievable, it increases 100% triggering chance for ulti related mechanism, like catching the ball while blocking dunks and layout. One word for this branch, Godlike. The first talent is King Kong's Dunk. I think it's just like the normal version alley whoop dunk might be easy to get blocked new move catch and dunk just like takasago dunk and snaking dunk for the next new move although this move look garbage the insane one is waiting behind mean the official force us to spend more in order to learn the useful skill for me i will skip all the small notes only link the one with big notes until the second point dunks yes he has second point dunk i was so shocked about it rebounder has no problem to block the first point due to their strength stat is compatible with akagi but the second point is our concern will make akagi outstrength the second blocker most likely the second blocker will have 20 percent to 30 percent lesser strength it will make akagi bump away trigger chance much more effective i cannot imagine anymore now bully has put a weapon on his hand now next is post turn around i cannot decide whether we need to upgrade this skill tree or not big spin turn around and turn around down are not fitting his style the more he dribbles the more chances to lose his bobo no good no good just the skyhook move after that is worthy if you want to save some cost this might be the branch the only branch that not attracting much of my attention, letting go and saving our resources. The reason why I mentioned his sky hope will be good, Kaki's resistance actually is the highest in the game, which is over 100. So long he is not getting blocked, his accuracy can be good. Most of us neglect this part. Next is King Kong's rebound. What to say? If possible, then all. Rebound and block must be level first before going to Audi branch. Since Audi branch will not be good with limited resources, but to make the character can be usable in ranking match, good defense will never fail us. From the animation show in Rebound's King Kong's Dunk, I feel that Rival might have sufficient time to jump again to block us. Store while Akaki is squatting down is allowing defenders to do so. The only skippable small notes are her resistance. Energy notes and rebounding contest value are the priority. He might be the new trait to our rebound king, since he is his master. 
Next is Super Block. What to say when this kid appears? O must be upgraded right after rebounding branch. Now he can protect the rim with his muscles and also has the new block shot talent to support him to chase down those tricky shooters. He got huge blocking range new block shot talent and faster speed which he can reclaim his new blocking monster title in this version and the last talent catch and quick shot this is the branch is equally important to second point dunk he can push away defender while doing close shot remember i mentioned he has top resistance stat with the following new moves he can score two first is normal push away close shot second is faint and dunk the third one is faint and fade away he also can play casing game with the defenders however shot is comparable easier to get blocked than dunks especially close shot after faint move is appear he cannot pass the ball mean rivals teammate can assist in time for fade away and he is not creating much space too in my opinion i will go for dunk for this case his personal view and judgment i recommend upgrade one of those offensive skill is good to go totally personal choice to recap the priority first is king kong's rebound only can skip resistance small notes second is super block or oh. and the third one is ulti i recommend to upgrade until awaken level 3 only upgrade small notes that link with big notes two blocking moves must be upgraded and the fourth one is king kong's dunk until second point dunk only level small notes that related to bump away defenders and the fifth one is catch and quick shoot if you want to upgrade must level until the end for faint and fade away and the last one is post turn around your choice for cost effective version in total of 990 rate training cards and 91 characters cards which equals to 40,950 diamonds or cash vouchers currently for china version the talent cards can only be bought by cash vouchers i believe when launched in global version we can buy it with 450 diamonds if he worth it same if price is not your concern must own his defense and rebounds are definitely the champion with his scoring ability can be ranked above s tier 2 just how dominating he can be after nerf and bath we will see if you enjoy the content kindly give me a like and subscribe my channel thank you guys i will be back